I spend very little, if any time, worrying about my children's future. Um, I don't, I, it's just, it's never anything that really crosses my mind, whether or not my kids are going to be okay. I know that the choice I made to like fill myself and move myself forward is all that it takes for my kids to have like a great life. I found myself constantly having these limiting beliefs about what was possible, but I knew that there was something more possible for me that I just had to figure out how to access. So two things. One, I realized that the way that my mom parented me, there was, there was nothing, she did always the best that she could, and so did my dad. But it wasn't working for me and it wasn't working for my kids. And I realized that there was more and there was a better way. And I made the decision to actually accept that better way. And it actually ended up that I created such an amazing foundation for my kids that um, it will be a model for, for moms in the future. Behind every stressor is potential. It's hidden potential that when used the right way, it can actually create something new. When I am in a challenge with my children, I don't look at the challenge as something that's stopping me or my kids. I actually look at it as, what am I learning that I need to learn that's new in order to create something I've never created before? Welcome to YourBrilliance.com. I'm your host, Amy Waterman. And today we're talking about life as a mother. It's hard. We are so totally overworked and underpaid. Our kids give us so much, but they take a lot too. So how do we do it? How do we become the mothers we want to be for our children? While at the same time keeping space for the women we used to be. Remember her? the one who wore pretty dresses rather than spit up stained sweatshirts, who used to go dancing until three o'clock in the morning like it was nothing, who had all these hopes and dreams and tons and tons of energy. Yeah, well, I don't remember her either. But don't despair. Carrie Ann Killeen is here to help. Carrie is a dream lifestyle coach for women. She uses the power of love to activate peace in the hearts of mothers across the globe. Her three-step method frees moms from the limitations that have stopped them so they can step into the dream life they have always wanted. Welcome, Carrie. Woohoo! Wow, what an intro. Thank you. Well, it is exciting. I think every single mother out there is facing the disparity between what her life is like now mm-hmm. and what she thought it would be back when she was pregnant and dreaming about how wonderful bunnies and fluffy, you know, booties and all those wonderful things. And of course, now look at life. So I want to start by asking you the question all mothers have to ask when we get to know each other, which is, right. tell us about your family. Well, I am a single mom of three, and I have three daughters, ages 10, 7, and 3, and I am full force with creating an empire, and uh, they're along for the ride with me. We are a team. We are united, and I I, I spend very little, if any, time worrying about my children's future. Um, I don't, I, it's just, it's never anything that really crosses my mind, whether or not my kids are going to be okay. I know that the choice I made to like fill myself and move myself forward is all that it takes for my kids to have like a great life. So, so that's fantastic. Let's just start with that. So I'm one of those mothers who, just focuses basically my entire life around my daughter. I worry about her all the time. I worry about doing the work I do so that I can support her so that I can get her into the good college. Basically, I have found myself, I don't know if like maybe my mother did this to me, living through her. So tell us about how did you make this switch between that living through your children to living for yourself and being a role model for your children? 
Oh my gosh, I love these questions. First of all, it came through my own realization that I was becoming my mom. And there's nothing against that. However, it did not feel authentic and it was not working. That approach was not working with my children. I found myself getting very, um, I found myself constantly having these limiting beliefs about what was possible, but I knew that there was something more possible for me that I just had to figure out how to access. So two things. One, I realized that the way that my mom parented me, there was, there was nothing, she did always the best that she could, and so did my dad. But it wasn't working for me and it wasn't working for my kids, and I realized that there was more, or there was a better way. And I made the decision to actually accept that better way, and it actually ended up that I created such an amazing foundation for my kids that um, it will be a model for, for moms in the future. And you are now a coach. You lead women through the same process to help them wake up. And I, I will get to a little bit about your coaching in a minute. But one of the things I wanted to ask you, do you think that these possibilities are open to us partially because of the day and age where we're living in? Like, as, like you, I'm a single mom, and I realize that being a single mom today is not the same as it would have been 20 years ago. And that the, the, the environment in which I was raised was just so different. We had, to, you know, I was raised very strong gender roles. Women knew their place, women served men. And so this idea of raising children without having a man to be the one going out and working and you being the one at home, you know, wasn't even possible. So what, is, what has made it possible for this new way of parenting? Well, I think number one, it's a necessity, and I could go into a lot of global, what's happening globally. Um, I don't know if this is the time or the space to be able to do that, but basically women are following their desires as creative beings to create outside of themselves the life that they want. So they're following your desire and that feeling of, for me, I was a phys ed teacher. I went to work in sweatpants. And that felt so wrong because what I felt like on the inside was I felt like this force of nature to be like, I'm here to do something so big. I don't even know yet what that is. And when I followed, when someone gave me permission to do that, Amy, it was like this whole new doorway opened. And what was revealed was that there was this whole next chapter that had to do with parenting from the fullness of who you are rather than the separation that we experienced from our families because we were actually separated from love even though our, our parents loved us the best of our ability but we probably feel that how it shows up in our you know our feelings towards our childhood um and then it was that um you know i just knew that there was more just, do you ever feel that? Like, I just knew that if there was a will, there would be a way for me to do it. And I allowed all opportunities to transform me. And I said yes to all opportunities. And that's what ended, that's what created, you know, this epic journey that I'm on right now. <laughs> Well, I want to talk about your Facebook group. So you have created a community of mothers who want to step into the stream life. It's called Moms, Moms Creating Miracles, How to Transform Your Everyday Mom Stress into Your Power and Create the Life of Your Dreams. Now, that phrase, how to transform your everyday mom stress into your power, I don't get that. I don't get how the stress I feel as a mom could be a source of power. So explain that to me. Okay, so behind every... We'll tell look, behind every stressor is potential. It's hidden potential that when used the right way, it can actually create something new. So when I will take this, we'll talk about when I am in a challenge with my children, I don't look at the challenge as something that's stopping me or my kids. I actually look at it as what am I learning that I need to learn that's new in order to create something I've never created before. And it always has to do with growth. 
Wow. And what I love about that is we tend to think of ourselves as the ones teaching our children, whereas in fact, parenting is what's teaching us to step up and to grow. Totally. It is. Our children are simply, you know, they're obviously in our life for a divine purpose, but they're actually in our lives to show us a greater sense of love. And, and love happens in so many different ways. Sometimes it's surrendering control and allowing your children to do whatever the heck they want. Um, it also is in helping them and guiding them through challenges. I mean, my children and I, and you probably know because you're a single mom, the breakup of, of my family was one of the most challenging things ever. And my three children were, we went through the whole process, the good, bad, and the ugly together. We went through it very, very quickly. And now we're in this chapter of our lives where we're actually starting to really live the dream that I'm creating, which is going to be all about the freedom lifestyle. It's really all about mom owning a, 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 a business, um, kids being able to um, enjoy being kids with no pressure. I think what happens a lot in families is mom feels pressure and that pressure actually goes to the children and that blocks their own potential. See, when a mom fully takes care of herself and don't, doesn't have the pressure or doesn't allow the pressure in, she thrives and the children thrive with her. It's just, it's just a natural, it's, it's the natural way to be. So happy that's wife, happy life, right? Yeah. Happy mom, happy family. Yeah, that, I mean, that truly is it, yeah. That is fantastic. So I want to talk a little bit about the coaching process because I can imagine women listening to this thinking, man, that just sounds great, but my life is stressed. How do I ever get to that place? So yeah. what if I came to you and I said, Carrie, I said, I'm so stressed out. I am behind in my work. I have no time. My house is a mess. My life is a disaster. And my daughter is coming to me saying, we never have any fun anymore because I never have time to play with her. What would you tell me? First, the first thing that I would do, it, I would really ask you, what does your desired life look like? What is your life, if you could step out of the chaos, step out of like the everyday, what do you want your life to look like? And I think it's very much like what you were describing, the freedom lifestyle. Mother has a business that she sets her own hours mm -hmm. and there's no stress. Yep. And there's a sense of ease where my daughter can be a child. Right now, one of the issues in our life is because it's just me and her and there's a lot to do, she ends up having to, I think it's good in this way, take on some chores, take on some responsibility. Right. And that's great. But at the same time, you want her to be a child. You want her to actually just do nothing and just have fun. Whereas yeah. I need her to kind of be on board sometimes with helping me out. And it would be great if she knew that everything was going to be okay, no matter what. And I knew that's that no it. matter what, everything would be fine. Yeah. It, right. And so what I would ask you next, given that information, what's stopping you from already having that feeling of knowing that 100%, no matter what happens in your life, challenges, uh, you know, struggles, no matter what, everything would not only be all right, but it would be incredible. So what, what would be stop, what's stopping you from already being in that space? Probably self-doubt. Like I feel when I look back at my life, I am one of those perfectionists and a workaholic and I see all the failures. I see all the places where I should have made better decisions and I made really bad decisions that I'm paying for. And I think it was fine with me, right? Because I'm an adult, but now I've got this child. And now if I make the wrong decision, she pays for it along with me. And it's terrifying. I feel as if Every future step is a landmine. And if I make the wrong decision, oh, yeah. we're all going to blow up. <laughs> right, right. So, so here's, here's what I would say. I would say to you that there is a way, first of all, to create a future where every step that you take is actually a step towards your freedom, rather than thinking that it is, you know, a landmine because what my model is, it's my model of success. It is the breakthrough process that's causing moms, you know, helping moms all over the world have incredible success. 
is that you got to release the old belief system and the old energy that is keeping you in the belief that every step that you take is going to lead to something bad. <laughs> and there's a level, a layer of letting the mom guilt go and a layer of forgiveness about your journey as a mom, your journey as a woman being all part of the amazing process that has led you to be where you are today, which is you are in a leadership role in your family and in your home and that you can really do no wrong. The other piece that I would say is learning how to use self-love as the tool to amplify everything in your life, peace, harmony, money, everything, and actually being able to turn that on. So what I do is energetically, I give moms access to di divine love. It's, it's all part of what I do as a coach. And then the most amazing thing is, is in your life, there are, we'll say like lampposts or um, a pathway that is actually there for you, waiting for you, which will bring you to all the things that you want. So the things that my, my moms want most, um, sacred union partnerships, which is like a divine, amazing love, all access through the work that I do. Um, I have a partner who is my sacred union partner. And it's like literally when we met, we knew that we had waited lifetimes to meet each other. Um, wealth, abundance, uh, and your career path, which has to do with love. So all of those things, as I'm sweating right now from the sun, all of those things are part of what happens through the coaching process. That is fantastic. Now, for those of you watching, if you want to get involved in this new way of parenting, if you want to learn more about Carrie's Facebook page and get involved in that, or if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching yourself to help you break through to the next level, we've got a link for you. Just go to yourbrilliance.org slash Carrie. That's yourbrilliance.org slash C-A-R-R-I-E. Carrie, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your wisdom with us. I wondered if there was any last message you would like to leave our viewers with. Sure. Um, well, thank you very much. It was an honor. Um, I, would, I would like to say that it's always the right time to jump into something that you feel is right for you. I, I have conversations with moms all day long. It's, it's my passion to do that. And when they know that something is for them, it's like something in their heart like jumps out. It's like, yes, I want this. So if that's how you're feeling, then you know that we met for a reason. Fantastic. Thank you. And thank you out there for watching. We hope to see you again soon. Until then, let your brilliance shine.